and I would like to welcome you all today. We are going to learn about getting social through command and posting, scheduling, all the fun kinds of things that we can do to make our lives easier. And always feel free to stop me if you have any questions at all. If I have not met you yet, my name is Monica Perry, and I'm your Market Center Tech Trainer at the Winston-Salem and Greensboro Market Centers. And the first thing that I want to touch on today is if you have not yet checked out your settings and made sure that you have Facebook connected, that's the first step that we need to take. So... I know everybody's doing other stuff, but if you can turn on your cameras like Michelle did, that would be great because I love seeing your beautiful faces. So in our settings in command, we want to come up in the upper right corner, drop down to settings. We see two places to connect Facebook. The first is Facebook post scheduling. That is free post scheduling, right? Free posting of whatever you want to post to your business page. The second place that you connect Facebook is if you want to do the paid ads manager. Today we're discussing the free social media posting because if it's free, it's for me. So I am going to make sure first to check you guys out. Does everybody have their Facebook connected? Everybody has a business page in Facebook. And the yes, I do. Awesome. Okay, fantastic. Yeah. So, the next thing we're going to do is come to our campaigns button here on the left hand side. Little megaphone, right? Doing some campaigns. And disregard that because you guys are probably not on TV. So, from here, we can schedule out whole months worth of posts, even further than that. I mean, it's, you know, April 23rd. If you guys wanted to go ahead and schedule out a Christmas post or a Thanksgiving post or a Halloween post, any of the things that you would want to schedule out, you can go ahead and do that. So I'm going to give you some suggestions today of things to do. But the reason I'm holding this here at the end of April is because you can go ahead and schedule out the whole month of May, right? Time block some time for yourself and go ahead and schedule out your whole month. Um, yes. Thank you, Michelle. I try, I'm trying to keep up with that mute button, dear. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so we can go ahead and schedule out a whole month. You can schedule out even further than that. Now, that does not mean that you're not going to do those impromptu posts, right? So if you're going to be doing an open house on Sunday, you're going to probably be posting about that today. It's not something you can schedule out for next month because you don't know yet that it's going to happen, right? You just got a new listing, for example, or something goes under contract in 24 hours. So let's talk first about the things that we can, in fact, schedule out um, with, with a lot of time in advance. One of those things is these quick posts here in your campaigns. We have these quick posts that already have a graphic. They already have um, everything that you could want. And what is one of the biggest things that we're doing right now? bidding wars, multiple offers. So they have added that quick post for us. So we're going to practice first with this one. So the cool thing about these quick posts is that they don't take any work on your part, right? You see the quick post, you're like, yeah, we're in a lot of multiple offers right now. So I like this one. You're gonna hit this little forward arrow and you are going to let me do this real quick. Hold on. I got to move myself back to my personal account. Sorry. Let me try that again. If you're in a team, you know, you have your toggle. So, all right. So now I'm going to get back here. Here are quick post examples. The 2020 median house price in America is 297 National Association of Realtors. That's the highest recorded price in U.S. history. Think that might get somebody to think about listing their homes? Mm hmm So we'll use that one. We're going to click the little arrow here. It's going to do its loading. It's going to show us a preview here on the right of what the post is going to look like. We don't have to add anything to it. 
If we wanted to add additional text, we are welcome to do so, but we don't have to because it's already written for us, right? So it was that simple. You click the button, you come down. If your logo is not there, it gives you the place to click to get your logo right here so that we can put it in because in our branding, we do want to make sure that we are disclosing that we are brokers. We're disclosing our brokerage, right? I think the North Carolina Real Estate Commission rule is within two clicks, they have to know you're a broker and that you're affiliated with which company. And so I don't like to take two steps. I just want them to know that up front, right? So we can also choose to include our ownership statement, which says each office is independently owned and operated. I always like to say that. So then I can come down a little further and I can schedule my post or I can publish it immediately. So as far as post scheduling goes, if I'm scheduling out May, I might just want to come down here and say, I want this to go out Saturday, May 1st, 10 a.m. sounds like a great time to me. So I'm going to stick with that Saturday, May 1st at 10 a.m. If you have multiple business pages because you're crazy like I am, then you can post it to all of them if you so choose. You could also post it to Twitter. If you have Twitter connected, the thing with Twitter, you just have to remember this um, text can't be but so long or it won't post to Twitter, right? So that's the only thing you have to keep in mind there. I'm going to leave it to just this one Facebook account here and everything looks good. I can go ahead and schedule the post. Yes, I do. And I have, now, I have a quick question. Robert? Um, sorry, I was going to eat lunch when you posted. It was at one o'clock and I was like, all right, right now I'm going to put it on my laptop. Yeah, not a problem. Anyways, um, whenever you post it, because I've done one campaign, so I was messing with it the other day and I did one. Mm -hmm. um, can you get it to where it posts to your business page and your regular profile? No. And so I'm going to show you guys what I do. I'm a big proponent of time blocking, and those of you who have spoken to me on multiple occasions, I know Lynn has, Robert has, um, I have to time block, right? Because I have 800 plus people that at any point of time of day could need my help with something. So I have to be very intentional with the way that I plan my day out. So if I were still selling, right? I only refer, if I were selling and I had these things scheduled to go out, I would know and have a bell on my phone that said, Facebook post went out at 10 a.m. The thing I would then immediately do, because I would have time blocked to do it, is I would go to my business page where I made that post, because we're, we're doing two things with this, right? We're staying in compliance because we're posting things to our business page. So we're staying in the good graces of the North Carolina Real Estate Commission, which we all want to do because nobody wants to get in trouble. I know that I don't. Those things come with big fines. So then what I'm going to do is take this post that went to my business page here in the upper corner. It says I'm interacting as Winston-Salem for Scythe County Real Estate. I'm going to toggle this over to be Monica Perry. And I'm going to share this post to my personal page, right into my news feed and say, come here for the latest in real estate. And so that's doing two things. It's keeping me compliant and it's driving traffic back to my real estate page, right? I think I have 95 people that like my real estate page that I created years ago and don't really use. Um, but I have something like 2,200 friends on Facebook. I want to reach all those people that I can, right? But I also want to drive traffic back into my business page because the more traffic that I drive to my business page, the higher I'm going to show up in the algorithms. So if somebody so happened to come into Facebook and search for Winston-Salem Real Estate, it's going to push me up in the rankings as business pages go. Can right? you do that again and show me what you did again there? So when I first come to my business page, and this is better done from your computer, I think there is, you don't do it in the Facebook app on your phone. You do it in the pages manager app on your phone. Yeah. If really you're being intentional, 
right in your time blocking every day from nine to 11, you should be lead generating anyway. So you're more than likely going to be in front of a computer. It's always just easier to do it from here. So just know when you have your post scheduled to go out and then you're going to come to your page, there's the post. You're going to change yourself as interacting as yourself as an individual, right? I'm now interacting as my own profile. You see that down here on the left. And I'm going to share whatever I posted. If you click share now, it's just going to push it out. If I click share to newsfeed, it gives me the opportunity to say, come here for all of the latest in real estate. Boom, right? And then I would post it and it would go out and push me into the algorithm for my personal social media profile, right? So posting to our business page, sharing to our personal page, okay? So the does anybody have any questions before we move forward? I'm double checking chat. Everybody feel good? I know I talk fast because we have a lot to cover, but this is recorded. It will get put on my YouTube channel. If you're not following my YouTube channel, please make sure that you do, because that way every time that I post something new, you guys can get notified that it was posted. I record everything that I do. I know how busy everybody gets. I always want you guys to make sure that you have access to anything that you want to learn. So everybody feel good there? We're posting through command to our business page. It's the only way we can. And we are sharing from our business page to our personal page to increase our audience and drive people back to our business page, right? Because on our business page, we can post a lot of stuff like um, we can have our business hours, we can have a place for people to set up, set up appointments with us. And these quick posts that come in here, they're cute, they have great pictures, they're very easy. Again, it's not going to replace our posts that happen in real time. This is just so you have regularly scheduled content going out. So I posted that to go out on Saturday, right? So have you gotten used to working remotely, interested in more spacious home and office, partner with a real estate expert? That one looks cute to me too. I can go ahead and click that quick post there and Everything looks good for me. I always choose to include my ownership statement, but you're an independent contractor and you can do what you want to do. So I'm going to come down. I'm going to go ahead and schedule it. I did that first one May 1st on a Saturday. So maybe these quick posts are my Saturday morning post, right? Coming up with a schedule is a good idea. I have an agent that I've known for years. Hers is like Motivational Monday where she posts a quote, an article, a story, a book she's reading, whatever it is, every Monday, it's Motivational Monday. And then on Wednesdays, she likes to post the hump day recipe, right? And a quick and easy recipe that you can stop at the store, pick up a few items, get home and have dinner on the table in 20 minutes, right? So she always picks something like that. And then Friday, she does Funny Friday, where she always posts something funny, whether it's a comic strip, some kind of a joke, a funny quote, whatever, except in the month of October, she does Freaky Friday and she posts scary stuff, right, for Halloween. So just little ideas like that. It doesn't have to be anything serious. If we do nothing but talk about business all the time, people are going to be completely bored of us. People want to know who we are as people, right? Who is Monica Perry as a person? Oh, I see that she likes to go to the beach. So do I, we have that in common. I see that she loves her dogs. So do I, we have that in common. I see that she has two teenagers. I have a teenager, right? Like you want to, you want them to know you as a person. Yes, you have to remind them that you're in real estate and these quick posts do that, right? But you can also post stuff that humanizes yourself. Post a book you're reading right now or um, your favorite grilling recipe with it becoming time to go outside and start grilling, right? So really think about the things that you can post. Just because they're going to your business page doesn't mean it has to be strictly business is what I'm trying to get at, right? But say I like these quick posts for Saturday morning, 10 o'clock is a good time. I'm good with that. 
I'm going to pick my page. Everything looks good. I'm going to schedule that post. Yes. And so that you can see how you can just come through here and schedule out the whole, um, the whole month. And you can see the week coming up, right? Um, you can see next week by toggling back and forth here. So there's that post going out on May 1st, right? May forward one more week. I'm gonna schedule out the whole first week of May. There's that Saturday post that we just did. So what about when you wanna post a recipe or something like that? How about sheet pan recipes? Those are easy. You can start a load of laundry while that's cooking. 25 super easy sheet pan dinners. Sounds good to me. So I'm just gonna go to this and let that load. I don't wanna subscribe or any of that. Um, this looks delicious. I'm gonna right click this picture and click save the image. That's gonna save it to my desktop. I'm gonna steal this little URL up here. See this little URL right there. I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna come back to my social posting. I'm gonna create a new campaign in the upper right corner. This is a social post, not a social ad. Looking for an easy hump day dinner. Check this out. I'm going to upload a photo. from my computer, upload image. I put it on my desktop right there. Looks good, crop, 25 super easy meal pet prep sheet pan dinners. And then I'm gonna add a link and pop it in there, validate it, looks good. And then I can schedule that post for Wednesday, right? Still on my business page. I can come down here. I can pick Wednesday, the 5th of May. Oh, that's Cinco de Mayo. Probably you're going to want to post something Cinco de Mayo related on the 5th, but you get the point, right? May 5th, July 4th. Go ahead and schedule this stuff out. Memorial Day, Labor Day. Um, if I had thought forward, I would have thought about the um, rockets that went off this morning. Somebody actually caught a picture of that in Huntersville in my brother's neighborhood. They could see it going into space, which is really cool. Um, so you could do any of those things. Y'all give me one sec. I see some folks popping into the room. Let's make sure they make their way in. Um, let me see make sure everybody got in that wanted to. There we go, got it. All right, so we can go ahead and schedule that for next week on Wednesday. And everything that you schedule is gonna show up. So, I mean, the goal is, I think three days a week is plenty, right? Um, for your impromptu, because your impromptu posts are gonna fill that in. So if you think about a Monday, Wednesday, Friday schedule, what, whatever you think, right? Um, let's talk about other things that we can post that are business related. Keller Mortgage. If you haven't looked into Keller Mortgage, I recommend that you do. Um, it's not only for getting a mortgage for a new home loan, it is also great for doing refinancing. And I'm going to move off screen for one second so that I can get into my email and show you guys. I have it saved here so you guys can see it. All right. 60 day refinance special, right? Currently, rates are starting to climb again. If you have not taken advantage of refinancing in the past year, we're offering a 60 day special for refinances on all products and programs extended to you and your clients. Clients, y'all includes our family members, right? So I can, you, I can tell my brother to use this to go refinance, right? You can tell your best friend, your coworker from another job, 
somebody that you used to work with because you're doing real estate in your retirement years. Whatever the case is, you know people that own homes, they're not always going to want to buy and sell for you, but that doesn't mean you're not supposed to be offering them value all the time, right? That is our goal. We have to continually add value to people or make deposits to our data bank so that eventually we get to make a withdrawal, right? In the form of a piece of business and get paid. So stuff like this, this was just emailed to us from Keller Mortgage. All of us as Keller Williams agents got this email somewhere. So when you see stuff like this, you have to go, hmm, this is something people need to know about. The refi special ends June 20th. So that means the whole month of May and part of the month of June, I can be pushing this out, right? The other cool thing to keep in mind is that we each have our own link when it comes to Keller Mortgage and Keller Covered. So one of the things that I can include in my Facebook post is this link that is branded directly to me, right? People can only use Keller Mortgage for a refinance or to purchase if the house is listed by a Keller Williams agent or the buyer's agent is a Keller Williams agent or a Keller Williams agent sent them for the refinance, right? That's the only way that people are allowed to use it and it can save you and your clients so much money, right? So this is my own personally branded Keller Mortgage Keller Covered link. That's my agent identifying number. Each one of us have one, right? It's got my email, it's got my cell phone number. So anybody that clicks on this link and clicks apply now, the Keller Mortgage person on the other end of the line is gonna say, oh, I see that Monica Perry brought you to me, right? That's the beauty of this system, right? So back in command, I'm gonna open another command window so that you guys can see something real quick. If you're setting aside about two hours, maybe to plan out your next month of social media, make it look pretty, y'all. Come into the design editor. The quick posts are great, but you can come up with your own customized post too. So design editor is our little paintbrush on the art easel. We're gonna click the plus button in the lower right corner. I'm gonna pick social because I'm posting it on Facebook, right? I'm gonna let that load up. myself more caffeine like I actually need it hold on somebody's in the chat how do you find your page for the Keller mortgage stuff I will show you that here in just a sec um I think I have a bookmark somewhere let's see Keller I think it's Keller mortgage agent resources i logged in as agent and went to hold on and it has the link there and a button where you can copy it if you go to let me back up i'm sorry to butt in here no please is that when yeah yeah you go to like the agent kellermortgage.com forward slash four dash agent and I think you can log in as yourself and then you get that link. I have it saved and put in my email. Signature. Yeah, and if I click on the bottom down there, um, settings, if you scroll down to KM settings, um, it'll bring you up and there's a button there where you can copy your link if you click on KM settings. Where were you, hon? Right there on that page, scroll down, there. KM settings. Yeah. Right there too. And there's yeah, the cool. link right there. Right. So you have lots of different stuff that you can do. That's your link right there. Cool deal? All right. So in design, if we come down to the lead generation, fire, Keller Mortgage. So designs, new design, social design, drop down buyer, Keller Mortgage is on the left. Your dream home is waiting. One pre-approval fast. The buyer pre-approval always wins, right? So we have all of these different designs that are already made for us. So 
So say that I like this one. I'm gonna click use. I don't really need to do anything to the design. It looks fine to me. Super cute. I'm going to say KM post 423, 21. So um, people, I can download it if I want, and I can also pull it in from design. People always ask me about posting socially to Instagram. I wish I had a great answer for you. I do not yet. Eventually we will get that capability, but for now you can just download the image and go over to Instagram and post it. You can do paid um, advertisements in Instagram through command, but you cannot socially post and schedule out on Instagram yet. Okay, so that's why I wanted to show you we created the design. You can just download it to your computer, or I can come in here and click create a new campaign, social post, and check out Keller Mortgage. Save thousands, yada, 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 yada. Whatever you want your terminology to be there, right? I can put in my link. Right, so whatever, and your link is always gonna be HTTPS color covered forward slash agent and then your agent identifier. And I'll show you where you can, there's several places you can find that agent identifier too. I'll show you that here in just a minute. So they can click on that. And then when I go to browse my designs library, instead of uploading a picture from my computer like I did for the recipes, there's that picture. Let it do its thing. It's choosing to be slow. We'll give it some grace because it's Friday. It wasn't ready yet. Come on design, let's be ready. We have things to do. Let's try that one more time. There we go. All right, so it's gonna give me the chance to crop this. This is a square picture, so I'm just gonna go ahead and click crop image. Check out Color Mortgage, save thousands. There's the link, this framed it directly to me. A cute little picture, the market's hot, mortgages are not. And I've got some more folks rolling into our waiting room. I think I've got everybody there. All right, so there you go. Now we can schedule this post as well. Right? And so you can think of all different kinds of things that are of value or fun that are gonna drive people to your business page, right? Go to our business page, take what we posted and share it out to our personal page to continue to build our brand, build that following on our business page, right? And we want people to be sharing our posts with others. So we want to make sure that it's something valuable, whatever that may be. If you are super into sports, I mean, it could be sports related. It could be church related. It could be, you know, what's happening in the neighborhood this weekend, live music downtown. Um, I just got my second COVID vaccine. I'm super stoked about that. So pretty soon I'm going to start like going out to dinner again, which I haven't done in a very long time. I might start posting. I checked out this new restaurant in Winston-Salem. Check it out, here's a picture of my food. Um, I spoke with the owner, Arthur, he's amazing, right? So I can, whatever I wanna do there, um, I can have to actually paste it for a time that's not now, would be good. There we go. Did I do Monday? No, I did not. There we go. So, you know, whatever you can think of to post is really, really good. So something else that is fun to post on is the national days calendar. Yes, you want to post all your real holidays, but sometimes those are boring. So let's look at the national day calendar. What's happening in May? Let's find out.
let's see. Is really being very slow. My internet is bogging down, I'm sorry. And they changed this on me. Hold on. National Day calendar, if y'all don't know, it's all those ridiculous, um, you know, National Margarita Day, National Hot Dog Day, um, whatever you find. National Pigs in a Blanket Day. I mean, come on, on Saturday, April 24th. So, you know, think of little things like this. You might not want to post all of these, but National Pool Opening Day, Monica Perry, that's what Monica's going to be doing as soon as my fence get, gets put in. Um, that might be something that I would post for myself on my business page because that is what, you know, I like to do. I'm a pool rat and I own that fully. Um, so that is something that would be fun for me. I love this bad joke alert. What's the only thing that shows more appreciation than me? U.S. home prices, because all of our home prices are appreciating. Um, that's pretty funny, I think, but it's still a bad joke. So what do you guys think? Do you, are, you, are you comfortable in this? Do you see the purpose of doing this? When you get bogged down in the busyness of the real estate industry, um, you're not going to be thinking about, did I post something on Facebook today? right? And you get really, really busy. So it's important to set aside a couple of hours, go ahead and schedule out some content. Um, that's not the only stuff that you can post. You can also do, um, if you use Homekeeper, you have the Homekeeper blog. When somebody clicks on that, it takes me into my own branded Homekeeper blog. We all get Homekeeper for free, right? They can you explain content? Homekeeper a little bit? Do what, honey? Can you explain Homekeeper a little bit? Because I know I have it, but I'm, I've tried researching what to do with it, and I just really don't know. Honestly, what I use it for, since I don't actually sell, is these blogs, right? I have the blog, and I have videos of me doing this on my website. Um, and you'll see it on Friday next week, too, Robert, in launch week. And you guys are all welcome to come to launch week, whether you're new or not, it doesn't matter. Any of the days that you want to see. Um, if you go to Monica's blog, it's not my blog. It's Homekeeper's blog, but it's branded to me, so it could be my blog. Um, spring Home Maintenance Checklist, yep. Everybody's doing that right now. They can click on that. So this is what I use it for. Now, as far as what it's actually used for, they have like a moving concierge service. Um, just valuable tips and tricks and coupons and things that it sends to our clients. Um, I'll send you some more information on it. I just don't use it for that stuff because I don't actually have clients to which to send the stuff, right? Um, but you can connect it in command too. But I love the blog. The blog's great. And you get it for free. So, and you can add it to your agent website. So it looks like you have content, right? Um, which is cool. And it's got your branding on it. But I can show you how to do this definitely. I don't think I have time to show you today. I mean, it's not that long, but I wanted to cover a few more things in here. Um, but yeah, so you can post, you know, different things like that. And those are things you can schedule out. I mean, you saw how much content's there. Outdoor structures, is yard equipment ready? That's, I mean, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, six weeks worth of maybe tip Tuesday, home, you know, home tips. Anything that you can think of that is easy for you to schedule out, the easier, the better, right? And so to make that post, this one, all I did was go to my blog and pick the one that I wanted and I opened it up. And just like I did with that recipe, I right clicked and saved the picture to my desktop. Like that. And I have this link, which is to this article. And I came back into my social post, created a new campaign social post. 
is this the year to paint your house? I'm actually considering painting my house this year. Has anybody ever seen a house be wine washed on the brick? I'm considering doing that, but I've never actually seen one in person. So I saw it on TV and now I want to find out more about it. Um, so this year to paint your house, I'm going to upload the photo. I keep hitting it before I moved it. Upload from my computer that picture that I just downloaded right here. I need to change my crop on this one, right? To wide. So it includes the whole picture, just like that. And then check out this article. Boop. Takes me straight into my blog. Schedule the post. Pick my time when I want to. I think we were talking about the first week of May. Um, tip Tuesday. I'm down with Tip Tuesday. I like it. And say I want this one to go out at 8 a.m. As long as you're reminding yourself to go back and share it to your personal page. Because you really do want to drive that traffic to our business page. In the long run, it will just build you up in the algorithm a lot more if you do it that way. I know it takes an extra step and it's worth it. Okay, definitely worth it. So that's as far as scheduling stuff, what you can do. The other thing I want you guys to keep in mind is the stuff that you're going to post um, just at random times, right? So like just listed. We're gonna go back into our designs. If we just list a property, we're gonna to go to designs, social, because we're, we're talking about social posting right now. And we're gonna get there, drop down to listing. Coming soon for sale, just listed, just sold, right? All the different things, open house. Price update, don't think we have to worry about those right now. I'm gonna say just listed. I can look at social wide, social squares, depending on where I'm posting, social stories. If I'm doing it as a story, I'm gonna do social wide. I'm gonna pick this one and click use and watch what you can do. Once it loads, I do have two other people on Zoom in this house. My teenagers are over there on Zoom. So it's not my, not my internet fault. It's got a lot of bandwidth happening. So now that I'm in this design, I can come over to the left to the KWLS if this is a live listing. And I hope this listing that I was using the other day is still live because I'm gonna use it again. Thank you, Lisa Ledoux, if it is still a live listing. 1120 Melrose, yeah it is. So I'm gonna select this cute little listing right here. I'm gonna pretend it's mine, even though it's not. <laughs> and it's going to load the photos because it's pulling it out of the Keller Williams listing service, KWLS, right? So I'm gonna click this picture. I'm gonna to come to the left. I'm gonna replace it with this picture. I'm gonna click this logo. I'm gonna delete it because it's not mine. I'm gonna click on my logos. We'll hit up some KW1 logos since I have some of y'all in the house. I'm gonna pick this white one because I like that white background. I'm gonna pop that in the upper left corner, like so. Just listed 1120 Melrose Street. So you can do this exact thing for open house. Yep. So I have a question. If it's not my house, like I have an open house for Daryl's listing on Sunday. Yeah. And so what all do I need to include since it's their listing and not mine? You don't list? have to include anything. You're marketing the open house. So as okay, long as Daryl's agreeing to let you advertise it, then you're good to go. Right. right okay. Thank you. You're welcome. So I'm going to say 
Facebook. Always make sure you rename your designs, y'all, because I have like 700 designs and you will totally forget what each one is if you don't rename it. Um, so I'm gonna do that one. And I'm like, cool, cool. I'm done with that. I'm gonna save it. Now watch this. But Monica, if they click on it, they're gonna wanna know more about the house, I know. So I'm gonna go to my agent website. I'm gonna pull that up. I'm gonna type in 1120 Melrose. Search. Melrose Street. Did I spell that right? I hope it didn't go under contract. There it is. So 1120 Melrose Street has its own little website here. Because you're on my website, you pull up the listing. Once you enter the listing, let me close some of these windows here. Got a lot going on. And I know this seems like a lot right now, but the reason I can do it so fast is because I do it all the time, right? Once you start doing this stuff all the time, then it's not hard, okay? I promise you. A uh, quick question. Yeah. Um, it's kind of kind of unrelated to that, but but related. I just saw you put up an aerial view of the neighborhood. Uh huh. I was thinking about using the aerial view like that for a postcard for my neighbors for throughout my neighborhood. Um, yeah. How do I go about getting that picture and so I can I can um save save it as an image to put on a postcard? You could um right. Let me see. Probably screenshot. So hold on, let me get my internet to stop being a pain in my behind and I'll show you. There we go. Mm -hmm. So let me just pull up my aerial view of my current location. So we have some okay. something happening there. Okay. So you could actually just screenshot this. I don't know if you're Mac or PC. Um Mac has, I'm not a Mac person, but I'm I not a Mac person either. I can just function windows, print screen on mine. And I've got two monitors open, but <laughs> I'll show you what it looks like. Yeah, I actually use my Surface Pro for my work. There you go. So let me give it a sec. So there's the screenshot it just took. Let that open up. So you did function windows button and what else? I did function windows print screen, but I have a 13 inch laptop. It's like a little small one. If you have a bigger laptop, you probably only have to hit print screen. Mine's just very compact. So I don't have a full um, keyboard layout. So it just depends on your computer and you can ask your computer how to um, screenshot. It just depends on which one it is. And I can just scroll that in like that and save it. Probably the easiest way to do it because it's you, a you have, map. It's not a screen. It's not a like okay. image. On, on the one before, I saw you had like you could actually see the roofs and stuff. Is that just zooming in from there? Is that yeah. all I have to do? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I can just scroll in. Right. Perfect. Perfect. Appreciate it. You're welcome. All right. Good deal. Can you go back to where you were about to tag mm -hmm. that into there? Yep. This right here. What do you want to see, Robert? You remember when you said that you, whenever you post that post, that you can get it to where they will need more information, they yep. can just click on it? Exactly. So this is here. This is my website. I looked up the listing, right? Okay. So remember, we're posting just listed. We want okay. them to have something to click through and get more data, right? So I can take this URL, which is specific to this house, and include it in that post. And when they look at it, they can click on the pictures. They can scroll through. There's a virtual tour for this house. So if you had a virtual tour on your listing, 
They can see the price. They can see that it's me, property description. They can click through on Keller Mortgage, which will link to me. They can click through on Keller Covered, which will link to me. They see that it's Ardmore neighborhood. They can actually explore Ardmore further. Does your Keller Mortgage and Keller other thing automatically come up? Yeah, if you're on your own website, yes. Mm -hmm. okay. um, but you can see they can get a lot of data off of this website. So I'm just going to use that link to that specific property. I'm going to come up here to this. I'm going to schedule the post and let it and see that create another button. If you click that and then you schedule this post, it'll bring it up for you to do another one. So if you're set and you're ready to go and keep posting and posting and posting, then you can do that here. I'm impatient, so I'm going to go over here while that's thinking. Um, but for that listing, now we can do social posts. Just listed all the pretty and fluff that you want to say. I saved that in my designs library. There's the house. It's going to show up in my preview. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Select the design without review. Hold on. Let's try it again. I'm moving faster than the computer. That happens sometimes. All right, so again, I need to replace that crop to make it wide. There's my preview, my verbiage just listed. Happy, happy day, beautiful house. The link, schedule the post, done. And this can be done automatically, right? You don't have to schedule, you can publish it immediately. And so the benefit of posting through command is that command is powered by artificial intelligence. So the more that you do through it, the more it's learning. Um, just like you iPhone users that you waited for the first iPhone and you had Siri and you were like, Siri, you're stupid. But Siri's not as stupid anymore, right? Because she's powered by artificial intelligence. The more you ask it, the more it learns, the more data that it compiles, the better answers it can give you. And the same thing is gonna be said for this system. The more that we use it, the more that we're teaching it, the more it can give us back. Like imagine eventually you list a property and command says, hey, the last time you listed a property, you posted this on Facebook, you did this Facebook ad, you sent out this email to your database and you did this and you got this result. Do you wanna do that again? Right, because that's what this will learn to do. Um, but the only way it's going to learn to do it is if we use it. So that's why it's so important, right? Plus, it's just a nice platform. You can see everything that you have scheduled out clean, looks good, right? I'm not going to actually post this because it is not my listing. So, <laughs> um, but you get the point, right? This would be your listing. Or if you're doing it as an open house, again, Robert, Daryl agreed to let you do the open house. So you're still using your website. They can look up any listing on your website, right? In fact, they can look up any listing in the entire country on your website, as long as that um, state's MLS or that city's MLS is cooperating with us, which I think we have like 90% 90 90 cooperation with MLSs. So, all right. So we have stuff that we can schedule. Right, holidays, national days, recipes, blog posts, um, that Keller mortgage thing I showed you, y'all use that thing up, right? Um, I'll be transparent. I just did a Keller mortgage refinance and saved $800 a month, right? Worth it, definitely worth it. Um, prices are ridiculous right now. So there was a, you know, it was a good time to do it. So there's some seller graphics and designs that are really great. I know that we were talking about getting, we all need listings, listings, listings. So in design, um, 
there's all kinds of seller graphics right now. And I think on the homepage, tax benefits, tax deductions, because it's tax season. Um, this is a good one. Listed at this much money, this many offers came in. It sold for this much money, which was above this much money. Now it's time to sell. That's a good one to use. This is- well, I haven't received any of the Keller mortgage emails. So how, who do I get in contact with to make sure that I'm being sent them? Mm -hmm. In your KW email, you're not getting any, Robert? No, I just looked. I haven't seen an email from Keller Mortgage either. Huh. I guess go there. I'll look into it and I'll get, was that Lynn that said he hadn't either? Yes, that's correct. Um, I'll get in there and see. When Keller Mortgage first came out, like we got really um, involved in it and stuff. And I, I'll go in there and find out how and send it to you. I would say go there. Well, definitely log in. Maybe I set myself up on emails. I don't know. Refer client deals reports, my lane officer, tour your agent portal. All right. They've updated this too. Yeah, I'm, I'm not getting those either, Monica. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. I will look for that answer and I will make a short YouTube video on how to use it and then I'll share it out on both Facebook pages for both companies. How's that? Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Make a note of it. Um, Keller Mortgage. And make sure you're checking your spam and stuff, y'all, in your advertisements folder if you're in Gmail. Keller Mortgage email updates. How to get those. Make a video. Got it. Okay. So let's recap. Scheduled post. That 60 day refi special. Seller graphics. Now's the time to sell. Um, download my app. That's one we didn't talk about. Share your app link, right? One of my um, business pages, I know. Let me see which one it is. It is, is it my Sherwood one? And Monica, all of your um, recordings are on your YouTube page? They are. So if you don't have my website bookmark, it's kwtriadtech.com. Mm -hmm. And if you go there, in the middle of the screen right here, it says subscribe to me on YouTube. You can just click straight through and it'll take you to my channel. And there they all are. I think I've done that. I just And these are all the people that I learned from below. So that's why I have it default to this page because these are, you know, have been my idols over the last five years learning, learning how to do all this stuff. So they're all brilliant. So follow them as well. Um, because they're awesome. But I think it, it is this. Is it this one? Um, I know that one of my business pages, of which I've set up a ridiculous amount of them, it's the app commercial as my um, header on that business page. Share your app, right? Make sure that the people are creating a... Um, creating an account on your app. And that way you can see everything that they're looking at in your app and all of that kind of fun stuff. I don't think it is the Sherwood one. I'm trying to remember which one it was. Maybe I should not have created so many Facebook pages, but I digress. Um, let me see if it's the... Good gravy. That is not what I'm clicking on. Sorry, y'all. Anyway, sh share your app. There's posts for it in the same place designed. There's posts that show what your app looks like and all that kind of fun stuff. There's videos for our app. 
and then your app link, click on consumer, which is our last one. If you don't know what your app link is, site and app settings, URLs, this is your app link. Okay. So if somebody, and I can just show you that video from there, but I, I did save the video and use it on Facebook, which is cool. If somebody goes to this app link, it takes them right here. Branded to you, right? Because it's got your code. And they can come down, download on iOS, download on Google Play, and there's the commercial. Right. So that's super fun. I have that video up as the header on one of my Facebook business pages. I just can't remember which one it is. But that stuff that you can post. And then of course your impromptu post, just listed, just sold, under contract in this many hours, sold for this much more than we were asking, um, open house this Sunday, all that stuff's gonna happen as it happens. The neighborhood videos, I'm gonna touch on that. Ooh, it's, I gotta go. Um, I would love to touch on that. Quick post, neighborhood video, I'm gonna show you real, real quick, but I do have to hop off here to get to a two o'clock. Um, again, Socials, campaigns. Please don't be slow. Please don't be slow. Here we go. Should be one of the front ones. Create your own neighborhood video. Do these in real time so that the data is fresh. Dina, Vista, Went. Salem, you have to pick a neighborhood, right? Neighborhoods established by next door. I just want to make sure to show you all the, this really quick. Here we go. Click next. So pick a neighborhood you love. Come, that is not right. Sometimes it's not right, but that's okay. You just make sure you're paying attention to it, right? Otherwise, they're usually, unless there's just a really huge house that's sold in there, but everything's already there for you, right? The prices are on the decline, holding steady, average price per square foot, number of days on market. It makes you a video. It takes it 10 seconds. You just want to, I just want you guys to see what it looks like real quick. Of course, the one neighborhood I picked faulted out. And if you're like a stickler for numbers, look in the MLS and you can edit the numbers to be exactly correct. If you're a high C, I'm not. So see how cute that little video is? And just remember, when we are posting stuff, the main thing you're doing is trying to interrupt somebody's newsfeed and get them to pay attention to you. That's the whole point of a post. Somebody scrolling, y'all scroll through Facebook. I know you do. You're scrolling. What makes you stop and read something? That's what you're doing, right? Interrupt their newsfeed, get them to click on something that brings you to the top of their mind and keep doing it over and over and over again, because through Frequency and intensity of communication is how we build our database, right? And I would love to keep going on with you guys, but I do have a two o'clock meeting that I'm now officially two minutes late for. Um, I will save this. It will be up on YouTube later today. And I'm here for you guys. I love you to pieces. KWTriadTech.com is how you can get to my website. You can schedule one-on-one, -on -one, look at the upcoming training calendar. Launch week starts Monday. You're all welcome to come, even if you're not new to KW. If you just want a refresher on command, please feel free to come any of the days or none of the days. Um, those videos will get posted on my website as well. I hope you all have a great weekend. And Thanks, Monica. Out, thank you. Reach out to Bye. me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'll get that um, answer to the Keller Mortgage thing too. Great. Bye. Bye. Bye.